It is six o'clock. We will call the meeting to order. We will start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Ray. Please have a motion to approve the agenda. Move that we approve the agenda as presented. Thank you, Berger. Is there support? support? Support. All in favor or any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, the agenda passes. Um, obviously, we are here for a very unfortunate reason, and that is the passing of our friend Steve Dracos. Um, so I'd like to take a moment of silence um, in recognition of Steve. Thank you. Um, up next, public participation, uh, which we have none. So that will just bring us to the subject matter of the evening, which is um, this board member vacancy discussion. Um, as we all know, per state law, we have 30 calendar days. I confirmed that yesterday to fill the vacancy. Um, so the, we have to basically have the paperwork submitted by July 12th um, because the actual deadline would be over a weekend. Um, the state does not give us any grace for the fact that it is a weekend or the fact that we have some holiday or a, a holiday in there the 4th of July. So um, Julie provided us with a potential timeline of um, you know how how we could go about filling that vacancy before the the deadline. Um, so let's obviously start there and open that up for discussion or comments or thoughts on the timeline. Um, one of the, obviously one of the biggest things is is Heather won't be here um, if you know given this this timeline. So, um, you know, and that, that was one of the reasons I had made some calls yesterday to try to see if we had any wiggle room or some grace on that. And unfortunately, on the back end, we obviously do not. So um, anyway, does anybody have any comments or thoughts on the timeline as it stands? Jake. One thing that hits us at the front end is because of meeting today. Today was the press deadline for the Lake Orion review. So although it says announce vacancy, it won't actually be in the Lake Orion review until the issue that gets to mailboxes on Thursday, June 27th. So given that goes to every home in the district, that seems like the most transparent way for us to announce this vacancy. So I'm fine. You know, that that June second application, that July second application deadline. I'm um, I'm okay with that. Um, the only thing I was considering adding was if we had a meeting on July eighth, let's say, and that would simply be if there are more than five applications, we could meet on July eighth to whittle the number down. You know, and who would we want to invite for an interview? But if we have less five or less, I would be fine with just coming to the meeting where we actually do the interviews. And but if we have twenty-seven people apply, I don't really yeah. want to sit through twenty-seven interviews. I would want to whittle it down before then. But we would have to agree when we would do that as part of this process. Thank you, Jake. Others. Does anyone see a scenario whereby I can be there? So I leave the 29th evening for the airport. <clears throat> 29th of June. Yeah. June I mean, I the the only I mean, I, and I, I appreciate the the Lake Orion review piece. I do think that it's it's still very possible to um, get the word out substantially, fairly quickly in 2024. Um, with you know the ability of even if and I don't know Jim Newell I don't know if he could even put together a quick online article 
and share it, uh, that we wait for a paper uh, distribution to every house. Um, you know, I, I know it would have to be a very quick turnaround, so we'd be talking about announcing it tomorrow and interviewing next week. I realize we have two meetings on the agenda next week. Um, I don't know if that's even possible. That's the only scenario that I could think of. Um, just expressing that I would like to be there and brainstorming if you guys are like, sorry, there's no way. I understand because I know that, you know, we've already adjusted um, things before because of my trip. And obviously the 4th of July doesn't help because we're out that week as well. Um, so that was my only thought process. Um, but I do appreciate what you shared there, Jake. Mm -hmm. I know. Um, other thoughts? <laughs> I know everyone's staring at calendars, so <laughs> I'm like everybody's staring down, hence my master Is can. that even feasible? Does anybody have thoughts on like that fast of a turnaround? Anybody who's done it before? Julie, do you have any thoughts? I, like, is it, it impossible to think that people would know about it already or already be interested in applying at this point? Like who's, has anybody been through it? Yeah. Well, I got appointed. Yeah, so yeah. I think the big thing is time for people to end it. like what is it's that? time for people to prepare for it because like you've yeah. never done it before and it's going to be a it perhaps could be somebody that's never even been to a board meeting before so like to be able to give them that the week to consider it to do it and then the week to prepare for it I mean, I mean yeah. like I totally feel you because I mean that's really you know. It's just a crappy situation that we're in. And, you know, that's the fact that we're elected volunteers. That's because we have lives, right? So, I mean, right. things are going to happen that, I mean. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, all of us would love Hazard to be there. Exactly. Obviously. Well, exactly. Right. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because that's the first question that came in my head is how, how can we do this to where Heather can be involved? But we just, we can't have the appearance of trying to rush something through right. or, you know, trying to backdoor something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if we did an announcement tomorrow like we're planning to, um, so that would be Wednesday, and then did interviews, like, later in the week next week, did that not give people enough time? Like, I don't, I don't know. Again, I don't know Wednesday how much Wednesday, time. Wednesday to Wednesday, post for a week, the 19th through the 26th, interview on the 28th. What's the 28th? It's yeah. a Friday. Friday. The Friday before you leave. Oh gosh, yeah. I mean, so that that'd be the that's the only scenario I see. And if we felt like that's does that feel Yeah, and I'm out the I'm rushed? out the 27th and 28th cuz this uh, is like the And I'm out the 27th as this well. This is food truck season, you know, I mean. And I'm, uh, I'm not available the 27th either. The 27th I, is the Thursday. Right. Yeah, just saying. Just putting yeah. it out there. I'm a, I'm unavailable the 27th as well. <clears throat> Evening. So we could do the morning of the 29th? The 29th, I have two gigs. Mm -hmm. Saturday. Yeah. And I think with that, too, I think we're running into pe potential people's vacations because that is the week of the 4th. So to ask somebody to come in the 29th, I don't know if that would hinder people who may be interested in the position from applying if we're saying, by the way, we would want you to be here. You have here. to cancel your 4th of July plans. Right. Well, right, and I, I'm not canceling my 4th of July oh, plans. Sh I wouldn't be but, canceling uh, my 4th of July plans if I were you either, Heather. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't be canceling any plans if I were you. Okay. And your arrival back on the 12th? Yeah. That's not a possibility because we have to have the paperwork in. We have, to have filed. We have filed on the 12th. I'm not right? available well, on the 12th either. Well, and Jake's not available on the 12th. Oh. And neither is Scott, so. Wow. Easy <laughs> um, board. Exactly. It's Friday in the summer. <laughs> um, and I would feel, and I'm, you know, I, I'm sure if, you know, all of us were available, I would still have a little bit of hesitation about trying to jam that in the 12th because if, you know, something happened and we don't have our paperwork in there filed correctly or something, that next day it goes to the county. And that is Forget the... What's your experience 
because you were on, I mean, obviously I got appointed, but you were part I was of on that. part of that. And I part feel of like that was a pretty long process. Like, it seemed people, long. Um, like <laughs> the day I got appointed was like the day before it had to be filed or something. So they took the full 30 days, I think. I don't remember that kind of detail, but yeah, um, <laughs> I, was I know was that there was um, there was there's always been an importance of having it posted for a couple weeks to make it known, give the opportunity, and we didn't we didn't take it down to a smaller pool, um, and there weren't ah, what was it in twenty nine of us. Five or six in twenty. So I mean, that's up to us. That yeah, was just I, I my understand. idea. Yeah. Of I'm just, I'm just the, reiterating if we're too big, history. Yeah. Do we want to give us ourselves um, a chance? And how, it could many be were, would, how many were? How many were on? There, there were, were four. Four, four for there. 2020. Yeah. yeah. Four when Susan and, and that was all on Zoom. Just, yeah. Yeah, we're just going to the hotel. Yeah, yeah Zoom was uh, that night, but that was that was interesting. That was convenient. <laughs> yeah, the Zoom convenient. was. I was in actually. I was in Texas when I did my Zoom, but. <laughs> yeah. And I can't zoom into the meeting? Nope. I actually asked that to you. Brad Benassik said that is a violation of OMA. <laughs> That's only if it's military. Text me people while I'm yeah. there. <laughs> that rule. Like I, yeah. I'm like, I had law. multiple. Brad Benassik is now on my speed dial. So. <laughs> All right. So, Man. and the 28th, you guys aren't available to meet to maybe try to narrow the pool. What if we kept it instead of making the application deadline on the 2nd of July? What if we made the application deadline 26th, 27th, and at least I, review I mean, the what, pool? I mean, we could do, if we don't want to narrow the pool, we don't narrow the pool then, but... but. But we could review and decide to narrow the pool. The transparency part is what I'm more worried about. That I know it's old school, but I want to. The whole giving everybody a chance to digest whether they want to do this or not. Because I, I, you know, I was on the board last time, and the people that were some of the people that were were putting in reached out, and they're like, "Well, you know, give me, you know, explain what's up from down if I throw my name into this." And a couple of people didn't put their name into it but they but they wanted but they they needed that time to consider whether they were going to do this no i'm not do you, think the, do you think the community is already thinking about it based on the fact that steve passed away like do you think that people are the people who would be interested have had time to process that already or do you feel like that's not a formal enough? i think there's a, a few people that, no? that okay. knew this but i think oh sorry yeah i think there's a few people that 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 knew that knew of Steve's condition and knew this would be happening and have have considered doing it. But I think there's a lot of people that are like, well, I mean, don't people know. have asked me, like, what yeah. happens? Right. Exactly. Like, well, the I, yes. of, there's yeah. just a big piece it's that... It's the six of us who have to fill it. Well how, well, how do you do that? And I'm like, there'll be an application process. Right. And I think that's the whole point yeah. is that time of... Well, if I would have know. known, that, if I would have known there was an application process. So it just gives a couple of weeks, you know, the, yeah. in this case, about three weeks for that... Yep, to percolate. News to mm -hmm. percolate and people to realize because there's 25,000 plus eligible people. Right. And so, sorry, okay. I didn't finish my thought actually before you jumped in. I wasn't suggesting we try to interview on the 28th. I was suggesting on the current um, schedule that's posted, we have the application deadline and then on the 3rd, we're looking to invite the candidates. And we haven't decided whether or not we would short, you know, shorten up the field or invite everybody who applies. So my point of pulling forward was to try to pull forward that. So Heather could have input on if we have 20 candidates, let's narrow them down as a board of six. And then while she's enjoying her vacation, we could continue with the schedule as it is. So she at least has some input on the candidates that we do interview. Yeah, I, I understood that. But what I'm saying is I think you, you're still inhibiting who could possibly join the field by having the cutoff be well, the, because it will only hit the Orient Review on the 27th. So no one's going to, you know, if we are meeting on the 28th, then that, that, that method of informing people becomes basically void because I just, I think no I one's reacting to it. I tend to agree with Heather in 2024, 
not everybody in the district does get the Lake Orion review. I don't. Um, well, you know, exactly. so there are some people that don't. Eighty-five percent do, but, and, it's done. and I would say there's a, a handful that don't even read it right away. It sits on the counter. I think the news is coming from news and from you know our posting on our board page. I think they're in your idea of reaching out to the Lake Orion Review and asking them to send a special, um, online. A special online, online article regardless, I think makes you, sense as well. Regardless of what we do, I think that would make sense. Yes. And I don't see that pulling back from July 3rd back over a, a few days is that hard, and then we at least get to have all of our input in the narrowing of the candidates. Scott, did you say you were not available? I am point? not available on the 28th. Okay. Could we do it the morning of the 29th to narrow the candidates? But, uh, no, say. that's the day I have two. And I had another friend pass away that we're doing his celebration of life that day. Yeah, no, I'm, you know, I'm comfortable, guys. I, I, could, I mean, I appreciate the brainstorming effort. Um, uh, obviously, bummed. I think it's a big decision. And then I, I, you know, I'm bummed I don't get to be a part of that. Um, uh, so, but is there any reason that Heather can't couldn't review those things and give her feedback? Like a regular board meeting type of thing if I wasn't there? Yeah, like give you a board book of all the stuff and then you could I mean, I don't necessarily know that we can talk about Take that. Take it into consideration. But you, I mean, I think that she that, could but you, you know could me. talk to the president or, and right. you could say, you know, Heather had some strong feelings on this one or this one. I mean, yeah, based on the application, based packages. on the application, based on the application. I mean, that would just packet. be right. I mean, That's absolutely something we could do. Um, yeah, like I would if there was like I couldn't be at like I said a regular one. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Like you'd get yeah. an actual board pack that's just you know all the resumes. That'd be fair. And I just couldn't send it to everybody. Just send it to no. Danielle. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can't have a conversation about it. Yeah. Right. But you can have a conversation with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you know, email me or whatever, so I can share in the public meeting yeah um, okay I'm sorry it's working out that way Heather. I know <laughs> all right it's all right it's just, <gasps> yeah all right thanks we for the discussion the Oh, now, I like that idea. That's got some legs. Lucy's, gonna, <laughs> Lucy's on board. Call so. Brad Manaska to see if we have to be in the state of Michigan. Tonight. Right. No, he's on my speed dial at this point. Close so. <laughs> Do you want your entire board on vacation with you? Nope. No. <laughs> so. We'll just get her uh, on Airbnb. That yeah. was fun. Well, I appreciate the discussion. I, you know, I trust you guys, and and uh, we'll be good. I'll do. I'll go ahead and just review them, and then yep. go from there. Okay. Um, okay. So, given that. Um, other than that, does anybody have? Any thoughts on Jake's suggestion of potentially adding a July 8th meeting, or do we just want to move forward with the July 10th meeting, no matter how many people decide to apply? That was just a safety valve. That, <laughs> right. that just so something's on the because calendar. Of some, yeah. But because of some, if 29 people apply, then we're committing to interview 29 people. I don't think that will happen. I don't but think it, will happen. it wouldn't it be a wonderful you know, situation that that many people were interested in in the topic? So I was just giving us an out that needs to be set today to say, well, if we do get that many candidates, then July, you know, and they'll, everybody will know in advance that please hold the 10th for an interview and. If it's the third and we only have less than the number that we decide, and it could be eight, I don't, it, five was just a number. So mm -hmm. if we say if if there's and then on the third the invite goes out, we only had seven people apply. Everybody gets invited. If we have fourteen people apply, then we get together on the eighth and narrow the field. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you meant like interview them on the eighth. No, the just to I got you narrow the field if we do have more than five. More than five, more than eight. Pick a number. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because I believe mine, there was nine, and we were here from, it wasn't that long. We were here till 9 o'clock, like 6 to 9. I think it was a three-hour deal. And everyone just had their own time slot. Mm -hmm. And then after you went, you could stay if you wanted, or you could leave. And then I think Julie called me. Yeah, I mean, under, you mean, technically, they could have come to watch the other interviews. It would have been <laughs> not, right. not yeah. the best conduct. But we, can't, we, can't, we, can't, we couldn't restrict anybody from... 
right. in the meeting. I don't know how the public notice goes out, but I think it's important to recognize that this um, temporary appointment goes until the election is certified. Yeah, we so actually... we're literally serving like four months. Mm -hmm. It could be the same person that's elected, but it might not be. Yeah, that person is under no obligation to run for the seat. Correct, correct. Just, yep. just to put that out there, because we haven't said this, and if anybody is watching that meeting, uh, because this vacancy has come open at this time, um, the last two years of the term will appear on the ballot, and people, anybody who's a registered voter that lives in Lake Orion Community Schools can go to the county and put their name in to run for a term, the, the remainder... Uh, that would run until December 31st, 2026. Um, that's our, as Birgit just said, our appointment is only until the voters can can fill the seat. So, yep. Correct. Um, so back to the I guess question: Does anybody, what are, you know, the thoughts on adding the July 8th safety valve, or do we just want to go forward with the July 10th date in moving? You know, no matter if we have. Two, three, five, or 10, 15, 20 candidates. So my thought would be we can always cancel a meeting, but we can't, as we've seen, we can't add a meeting okay. very easily. But that was I mean, point. that's just... Right. Because I think that meeting won't happen because I doubt I, agree we'll, I doubt we'll yeah. have, and we can just set that number. Is it eight applicants, 10 applicants? Right. Whatever that number might be. Because it's a lot of work for four months. It is. But, you know if, what I mean? but, if, we, but if we don't cap the number, then we could be on the 10th going... Oh, right. We're going to be. Right. We got to start. We got to start at noon. Oh. No, we have oh, to. Yeah. No, 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 we, we have to set the time. We have to set the time. Storm away. Put it on the table. So potentially, um, if you did have say ten applicants and you don't want to go through a 20, 30 minute interview with each, could there be like a lightning round at the beginning of the the interview meeting where you spend? know five ten minutes with each and then deliberate and narrow I think that's what uh, th my that thought was that's what the application done, that's what the application the speed first. dating for me would be <laughs> the if there's 18 people you can look at the applications it's similar to what happens with the superintendent there's we'll see all those packets um, starting mm -hmm. this weekend mm -hmm. um, and then we'll come together in you know, closed session to, 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 to get all the information on them and then publicly to discuss them. But basically that's what happens there is we'll be picking X number of people to right. interview no, solely off pieces of paper. So that was my, th exactly. but that was my thought here is it's no different than in the corporate world. We get 50 resumes and we have to figure out which six people do we want to interview. Right. But we obviously have to you know, that would all have to be in a public, in public meeting. meeting. Correct. So that was my point is July right, 8th add the would July be 8th, the placeholder the public belt. meeting. Right. Okay. Because it's got, yeah, I mean, we, I, I think it's a great is, suggestion. Yeah, we and, can't add one, but we can drop it. Right. So I, I'm in support of that. Um, just as a, like I said, if we have, you know, quite a few applicants, we could, you know, narrow the field. Um, um, uh, Anyone else have any? Um, no, I get it. We've seen we've seen districts have to do fifteen interviews. And right. I I get it. Okay. Um, I I appreciate so the we'll thought. So we'll do the eighth and the tenth. That we'll just have meetings scheduled for six o'clock, and, and like we say, that eighth might get dropped. And, but then people will know if you apply, you're going to have to show up on July tenth. Correct. No matter. Right. Just for the interview. Otherwise, it would probably be unlikely we're right. going to select you if you don't show up for the right. interview. It's possible because we can do whatever we want. <laughs> but unlikely. <laughs> but unlikely. Um, so as the, you know, um, July 8th, 6 p.m., how many candidates are we thinking for our cap to interview? Like eight ten. or ten. Yeah. I was going to say ten. Fine. Ten. Okay. Because so, like I say, the interviews will be 20, 25 minutes. So that would push us that night to like three, four hours. And that's fine. But anything more than ten. Okay. So the July 8th, 6 p.m., and that is only necessary if we get more than ten applicants. If it's ten applicants or less, we will interview those people. Um, July 10th, and we, there will be no need for the July 8th meeting. 
You good with that, Susan? Yes. And I assume, Susan, Julie, that the candidates, would you be contacting them to say, would to, to, if we decide it's 20 minute interview slots or whatever, to set them up throughout the evening? Is that something you would handle for us? Yes. Okay. But I'm just trying to understand. So, on the second, we'll know how many. Correct. And then that will drive if we need the. And so, I'm either going to send a letter on the third that says to them, or an email. Contact you about when. Your, yeah. You know, we're going to have interviews. You're confirmed for an interview. Let's arrange a time. But if there are more than 10, I'm going to say, great, but we're not quite sure you're getting an interview. We're going to decide mm -hmm. that on the 8th. Mm -hmm. And give a range of time, like yeah, and then that off. that leaves you on the on the night that leaves you on the ninth to say, but but the point is, as soon as they apply, they're going to know you have to be available on the tenth in the evening for an interview. I, so I understand so it's just getting a hold of them on the ninth to get them a slot. On the ninth, because the the, we're meeting on the eighth. So if Julie would have four. to if there's more than ten. If there's more than ten, yeah. when we pick yeah. the ten on the eighth. Then Lucky Julie will right. have to set up the interviews yeah. times on the ninth. So Perhaps just sorry, you apologies. Is there a reason we couldn't do that meeting earlier, on the fifth? Perhaps vacations. I'm gone. The fourth and fifth. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're gone. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's the day after July fourth. No, no. So. I'm just didn't know you were gone. I know. It, the the fourth of July week throws a whole nother layer of complexity exactly you know wrench in the whole works because once again vacations and you know potential candidate vacations sure. as Are well people gone earlier that week Am the application deadline i'm leaving on the third to go up on the, on the to go up north so i'll be around the first the and second, second. Be if we got all the applications that no, day to, to just narrow the field if we need to instead of the eighth that way, people still have. Then you would have the ability to have make the deadline the first, and then we could make, potentially get together the second. I'm open that day. I Which? can do. I can do the second. The second. July second. The second. Mm -hmm. Does that give you a little? It's not as awkward that way. It gives you a little more time. Yeah, the, the only issue is we're pinching. I guess they'll have the weekend, and then they'll have till five o'clock on Monday to put in, yeah, which is fine. So they'll have that weekend. Right. And so instead of July, time wise. Yeah. I just think it gives it gives them more courtesy for okay. the interviews. No, that's a great suggestion. If, if if in the in the awkward instance where we would have more than ten applicants, yeah, if, uh, you would be and you and I was thinking more of you at that point because then on the ninth you're stuck getting hold of the oh, ten people we I select. Don't mean that. I'll figure it out, but it's just it's hard for right. people to I for think people to the night before. Correct. Well, okay. No, know, that's a great Julie, suggestion. They've known the whole time that if they get selected, they got to be free on right, the tenth. Right. Some people are going to have to make and they don't know when yeah. to get I think this you know, works. We I lose see. 24 yeah. hours. I think, this, right. I think that's so fine. I think 24 sooner. hours so is So do the first, and then we'll meet on the second at right. like 6 o'clock. And 6 p.m. on the second? That's True. a Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. If And this is obviously all but if Now necessary. is this building open? Can we get in here if on necessary. The, that week? <laughs> yes, I believe we're open, but I will confirm that there's going to be major cleaning. <laughs> okay. You guys are available. Okay. That is the last day you're open for that week. I'm not going to say hoping because that would hope that more people don't apply. It's the expectation that meeting won't happen. Okay. Right. So, so Julie, July second. Just, just to confirm, then Julie, we could meet a lot at of a school. We'll figure something. Yeah, we'll find a place. Susan. Sorry. Just to confirm, then does that work? And you would then invite regardless on the That's third. Right. If we had less than eight applicants, we, or 10, ten, excuse me, if we had less than 10 applicants, we wouldn't have the meeting on the second. You would still invite on the third. If we have less than, if we have more than 10, you'll still invite, we'll have the meeting on the second and you'll invite on the third. So invitations are going out on the third, regardless of the second meeting. Is that my understanding? Or? They could go out on the second if we, if we know we're not having. Yeah, I mean, yeah. honestly, if we want to just Simple. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. There you go. Do the work on the second if we're under 10. Perfect. Okay. So July second, six p.m. If there are more than ten applicants, if there are ten or less, that meeting will not be necessary. 
Um, and the rest of the timeline can stand as is then. Um, the couple of other pieces that um, we also have the draft of the questions. Um, obviously, we don't want to read the questions out loud. Um, these are the questions that were used previously as well. Um, what I am suggesting is everyone, we don't have to talk about them this evening. Um, everyone take this with you, re, you know, look over the questions. And then if you feel there's a question that is missing and that you would like to add to this, please um, email Julie and then um, copy me as well. And then next week at our regular board meeting, um, on the 26th, we can um, discuss the questions then just to hammer them down. Um, so when we do go into the interviews, we will have those all ready to go. So what you're saying is just like, so for example, oh, on question four, could we ask it slightly differently or Correct. something like that? But mm -hmm. Don't. Without, but without, without giving idea, away without, the without content. Without giving the cheat code. Yeah. Exactly. Um, does anyone have any objection or thoughts on, you know, giving us, go ahead, Bergen. No objection. I just wanted to point out already that the bottom paragraph needs to be updated. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, for sure. Um, yes. Maybe scratch it off. Um, so I think that we'll just give Ready everyone some time with the questions and to formulate anything else that they think would be important to ask. And then we can have that discussion. Um, next Wednesday, the 26th, um, making sure we're all on the same page as far as which questions. Um, and then, hang on, I gotta get back. Um, the only other aspect, I mean, I guess there's two aspects, but it kind of goes together, is the tally sheet. Um, at this point, everyone's essentially picking four candidates. I know in 2020 it was not four, it was your top two. Um, what are some thoughts on picking four versus two? I'll say as the experience in 2020, when we did it, it was prescribed to do two and I do recall I went first, and I'm like, uh, this, you're going to force me to do two, but we all, uh, it, it ended up at that time, just by the nature of how that went, that our number, all six of us had the same number one, so that's the only thing I would caution us, is the deeper you go there, mm -hmm. it, become, it, it can become non-value-add to go beyond your number one if we all have the same number one, because... In that circumstance, the other three people who were not the number one were all running for office in, for, in the fall. So, so I just caution that restricting ourselves to a process here until you've seen the interviews, sometimes you just got to let things flow the way they do. And it would have been better than if we hadn't prescribed what we were going to do. where we could have just said, hey, my number one is my number one. I was just going to say the the code that we're talking here is we appointed a person that had been on the board for 10 years and was right. a, a board member in good standing right. that was used to be the president and things like that. So um, I think that that's kind of the, I mean, that's that's why she was the number one to everybody because. I mean, know, I would have picked Mary Jo if I was yeah. here. <laughs> and you were appointed. Right? Exactly. Yeah. But the point that I'm saying so. for us is that making that decision in advance of the interviews sort of created an awkwardness when we went to evaluate the candidates. It so. might be better served if we look at that knowing how many candidates we have yeah. to okay. interview because I can see benefit in doing a rating because it's, it's not just in the past when we when Scott was appointed, we had a point system. So you could rank people in a point and then it mm, the okay. points. So it doesn't, you don't all necessarily have to have the same one. Got but it. that would be more value added if there were 
10 candidates. Correct. As right. opposed to four candidates. Yeah, we're candidates. doing a lot of so, what ifing. Yeah. Right. So is that just for my own knowledge and obviously for transparency purposes, would that be a discussion that we could have either the July 2nd if we do it or just the July 10th before the interviews? I mean, when because obviously we'd have to make that decision, right? So that's the only snafu I see in all of this right. is when, when, you know, we're not going to know until July 1st potentially how many candidates we have. The, I think in... Uh, a Something we all did just go through recently in the recent months was we had we got we had to rank the search firms, mm -hmm. and we had talked about oh well let's invite them back and then we just said well hey there's the number one, and that's the that's the type of thing that what is it, you know whether we use a method of rating I mean and agree to all do it or what really is it's we all are going to have different ways of assessing. So whether we need a rubric or not, that, that, that's sort of each individual's uh, de decision of how do you, what, what scale do you want to rate these applicants on? And we don't all have to use the same scale because we're all going to value different things. The way they answer the questions, that the way they answer one question may be the deciding factor for one of us, but to say, oh, I can only give three points per question, I'm like, but I want to give them five for that answer. If you have this hard rating system, that it it it, it takes away your flex the the flexibility to 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 make decisions, and I think like we saw with the picking a superintendent search firm, that. When we had a consensus, we just talked through it and got there. Right. And that, that allowing that flexibility could be to our advantage. Right. And um, I mean, I'm comfortable with that. I would, you know, it's just we, you know, in the process, I just want to, you know, it's spelled out in the process. So if we're going to do something different than that, I'm comfortable or, you know, what's our. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me, um, and like I said, you know, we may get together July 2nd, we may not get together July 2nd, so. Um, yeah, and you can have a wide range. You could have one candidate. At the same time, talking about interview questions. Well, it's just difficult because we're still not going to know how many candidates, you know, because that's kind of the, you know. We could have zero to ten candidates. Right. And that, the day of, for the interview, or I mean one to ten, because I guess there's zero. And <laughs> we're in trouble. None of us show up. Uh, um, <laughs> But when I get back, <laughs> the county, uh, the, county will, the, county the county will take, will take care of it for us. Yeah, um, um, won't that be kind of them? Um. <laughs> so one other thing we did, we didn't. I'm sorry to jump back. Is we looked at the questions, but I think it might help today. Are we thinking 20 minute interviews? Because if it's 10 people, that would put us at mm. roughly 200 minutes if we, you know, flip them. But if you start allowing a break between them, then you're 25 times 10, and you're at 250 minutes. So true. Do we do we say they're 15 minute interviews with a five minute break or a 20 minute interview? But we sort of need to let people. I think let people know because mm, Julie's got to schedule it as well, right? And to as have they're people looking here into and, this, yeah. I'm not applying if it's an hour and a half interview. But if you tell <laughs> me it's a 15 minute interview, then right. I'll throw my name in the ring. Well, and interviews are very subjective because it all depends on how someone answers a question. Correct. But if you let them know they have 15 minutes and you tell them there's six questions and they go and they go on for eight minutes on we the first question. We didn't get to the last one. Yeah. We didn't get to the last yeah. one. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, but. I know you're all yeah. laughing thinking I'd be the one that would. It is hard. And if you have time in between, be. then you I have time to say something. I know. Yeah. I know yeah. you're all, all thinking do. it. You <laughs> <laughs> would be docked for poor time management. We'd have to give you ice cream. Yeah. Where? <laughs> Do we say 15? I think 15 minutes. I think 15. With a five minute break. There's not a lot of so questions. I concur with I 15. I don't think we're going to be like doubling that. At the hour 20, right. 40. At the hour 20, okay. 40. How many goes over 15? Yeah. Say no. Um, all right. So 15 minute <laughs> interviews. <laughs> with a five um, minute. With a five minute. Because, I mean, we. The nice thing is, like, we might want to take notes between each. 
Correct. each one. So a that little we, bit of processing. A little bit of processing. Right. Okay, 15 minute interviews person. with five, five minutes minute. in between breaks. Because mm -hmm. so you close. definitely need that that yeah. stop in between people. Because especially if there's ten of them, like by six or seven, they're going to start. Now, who said that? Or, right. Yeah. yeah, they have to be invited into the room. And right. Yeah. Okay. No, it's perfect. Thank you for even mentioning that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that takes care of that. And so, like I said, we're just on the, you know, kind of the last piece, and that's this, the tally sheet, ranking system, picking. And like I said, I'm not opposed to potentially deciding that after, <coughs> excuse me, um, the number of candidates, but just like I said, the only problem is the timeline because if we got together the second, you know, that could be a discussion then, but if we don't, then we would have to have that discussion before we started the interview. Do, do you think we could get our hands on the point system that you used when I got on? Yeah. I'm sure Julie. I mean, I wonder that. if that's something we can review because I mean, I think we're going to beat our heads against the wall trying to figure no, I, out. I agree. I just want. Because I think there should be a rubric that you. You know, I mean, as far guide, as yeah. across the just, board. just a guide as far as um, what you're looking for. Maybe. Yeah, and are we working on a 10 point system or a 100 point system? And that right? could be it. it is, I would see, it, you could simplify, is to say on each of these questions, you can rate their answer from 1 to 10. 100%. And okay. then, well, and everybody did, might have 10s, but, right? But right. what I expect for an answer from question two might not be what you expect. So 100%. it's not like you need to say you're looking for this, this, and this. 100%. It's just, how did you just think the they did okay. against questions? So that simplifies. You just go one through ten on each question that we mm -hmm. ask, and then you're you're allowed to. And then tally, obviously, and then. Bird. And well, I'm thinking of other experiences I've had with interviewing, and sometimes when you're in the interview, you need to get a couple down on your belt under because sure. then you yeah. got then you have a comparison mm -hmm. factor now with your. Um, it sounds really strange to say, but now you can compare like, well, she was really good, but oh my gosh, this one was even better, and, and you're trying to rank. Oh, there's right? no doubt so about you it. So you can't, it's hard to rank Got your it. first few. Right. Maybe the first question would be, because what's your best joke? So you go, okay. but, but no, the point is you go, is that happened that when, I was inter publicly. when I was interviewing, right. when I was <laughs> judging Decca concise. last year, that <laughs> my that. expectations of the answers were off. So I'm like, uh-oh. Uh, you know, now that I've seen three, I really wish I could see that first one again through the lens of. Right. But okay. I think no, that's, I think but that's, that's fair. where our time, but that's where having five minutes between. Will help as you well. You can go back and re like the first say or second one. I think okay. If we're going to use the questions as a basis, I think your idea of reviewing the questions, making sure they're what we want to have, makes sense. And if, Julie, if you have the old version that was used two times ago, if you can just email that to us, we can take that into consideration while we review the questions. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Um, good job, everybody. Um, the only other, obviously, and this is just a minor detail, is um, it says board vice president will tally. Mm -hmm. Board vice president will be laying we'll on be a beach. Whole, yeah. <laughs> so um, board secretary will tally. Perfect. Perfect. No problem. Uh, um, I that second way. that. Mm. Can we do it in um, so that was just year? a minor detail. Take your shoes off. And then just obviously, you know, minor wording, successful candidate must receive four votes, it, you know, because if we're going to be using a ranking system, but that's something that can be, um, you know. If we're but that, that's also true, right? Like we need. Yeah, we'll need to have a motion to approve a claim. Mm -hmm. and the leader has to take a vote. But it has to be four people have to agree. It has to be a majority of the, of the normally of the, seated board. Of the so it's, yes, it's a I, of the but it, No, it's a majority of the six, which means four. Four. I had this conversation with Brad Bonastic today. <laughs> we, we As a, I was if on we were my a speed dial. <laughs> five person board like Oxford, it could only be three. Yeah. Because that's a majority of the sitting members. Right. It's not a majority of present. I clarified that okay. today. I appreciate so. that. Yes. I Like I said, Brad Benasek and I have a deep, meaningful relationship now um, through this process. So, um, yeah. So there will be, it will need to be a majority of the sitting members, which is four. Um, so. Can I just clarify something? Is there a closed session deliberation or anything during the 10th or is it all public? It's all public. It is Perfect. all public. I like that better. It is all public. Yeah. Yeah. Great. The only thing we get to do is superintendent applicants have the right to 
confidentiality, but anybody who puts their name into this has no right to confidentiality. Correct. Okay. So um, I think that... Go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. So there is a bullet point that I think is missing in here on the 10th end potentially, which is some discussion. I don't know if we want that at all, because right now how I read it, the candidates are interviewed, and then we independently tally our votes without any discussion. Um, and then we announce our top each, and then we go from there. But do we want to add a bullet point around discussion at all? I think that is the third bullet point. It might not say that, okay. but that's what that intends is each board member will announce in, in, and, discuss. and you'll say, right. hey, you know, I really liked, you know, you know, you know, With candidate yeah. Louie because they were, you know, they're, you know, they really seem to know blah, blah, blah. And you're free to say what you want about each candidate as you, as you announce them. So we'll review the candidates at that point. So it's just got, it's not just an announcer. We'll review no. and discuss. No. Okay. no, because I really do want to hear, because but it really almost, I think it would go down the line. And I'm like, I'm not going to say my one and two, but these were the people, maybe I had these four up there. And you could say something that I'm like, you're right. I, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. now you're right. I, I'm going to bump that person up because, and that really is the pur yeah, the purpose here that, You've got all these different perspectives seeing them, and we could open up each other's eyes to what we're seeing in in the people. Mm -hmm. okay. And it can be a little uncomfortable, obviously, because well, we're talking about you're, we're talking about you, and mm -hmm. we've got to pick one of you. You know, exactly. So. I mean, two of you sat okay. through it last time. Yeah. on the other side. Right. <laughs> exactly. Okay. It, um, but we were on Zoom then, so it was a lot easier. Right. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, okay. Any other? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, thoughts on uh, the process as it stands. I think. Okay. Danielle, I want to thank you for. I know that you've been on the phone for a couple of days talking to people and guiding us through. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, okay. So recap and next steps. Um, Julie. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> July second, six p.m. potential, um, and that will. And then, just like I said, remember to keep on your radar. Please review the questions when you have some time, and then email myself and Julie any additions you think we should have. Or when do you want that by? And we're discussing that next. We're Wednesday's discussing it meeting. next. Next when? regular board meeting. Next regular board meeting. So okay, so it doesn't tomorrow. need to be emailed or anything. Um. No. Uh, if you email it, then Julie can print it, and we can all see what. Right. See so, what Julie, you were when thinking. do you think you would? Because I don't. They're not going to be included in the board packet, right? Oh, just, so, just a piece of paper. Because we're not putting it in the board packet for the public. Correct. It can so, just be on the table. end of the day Tuesday. Okay. So, end of the day. Um, Before we show up for the special exactly. meeting on the twenty fifth, have <laughs> so, it to Julie. <laughs> and then, just as a reminder, obviously. Um, Yes, and Julie will find the rubric and get that out to us as well, and we will discuss those topics on the 26th, um, the questions, and then just the rubric um, once we have an opportunity to see them. Um, and just on a other note, um, I'm sure everyone's aware, the actually our superintendent posting closed today. Um, so we should be receiving the email um, this Friday at some point from MASB and Sean um, and his crew. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and then we will be together next Tuesday, the 25th. That is our workshop to select our candidates and do the interview prep for the superintendent search process. And then the next day we will be back together on the 26th. And that is our regular meeting. Um, so we will be spending some time together. Um, <laughs> okay. And with that. So Mark, Mark, but on the recap and next step, Mark, you're handling, I'm assuming everything related to the announcement, contacting the or interview, those things. Yes. And Mark will handle the, okay. And Mark will handle yep. the, um, communications aspect of that, <laughs> to be honest. So perfect. Okay. Closing comments. Jake, anything? Nope. Nothing. Birgit, Susan, Heather. Bummed. 
Yeah. And I am bummed as well. Um, so thank you, everybody. And with that, this meeting is adjourned.